E-Ink displays are amazing. Not only do they offer excellent legibility and direct sunlight, but they're also great on battery life. This particular device gives you roughly a month of battery, believe it or not. Most importantly though, they are very inexpensive to make. This particular Kobo Mini that I have here cost me 50 bucks at Walmart or roughly 25 to 35 in Kijiji, which makes it perfect for a gift or for somebody who's new to e-readers and doesn't want to invest too much. Oh, also good for kids. Overall, this device is a five inch display 800 by 600 resolution, 160 PPI roughly, nice and thick bezels which makes it easy to hold laying in bed or sitting, and perfect size for your pockets and your pants or your jackets. Here's a size comparison, why? Why a Blackberry Classic? And here's an iPhone 6 Plus. Basically, this is an excellent e-reader. It does a few other things, but it's not really good at them. For example, you can browse, you can play some basic games, but as you can see, it's not that responsive. Although it suffers with all the other things as an e-reader, it's actually pretty good. You can do a lot of customization, like change the font size, change the font face, just justification, the margins, and it's even good for books with pictures in them. However, in low light is where this device really suffers. There's no backlit display, which is what makes it so cheap. So if you have a light source, you can still read off of it. It's not a bad experience overall. But I really wouldn't recommend it because I do a lot of my reading in before going to bed. Uh, in direct sunlight, though, or in good lighting conditions, it's great to use. You can see everything nice and clearly. There's not even a lot of glare because it's a matte finished screen. So something to keep in mind if you want to read outside, you can do that with this device. If you're not reading inside, it's not a problem at all. It has a few other things, I guess, that are worth mentioning. There's a micro USB charger on the bottom. There's a power button on the top. The back is prone to fingerprints. And overall, it's pretty, pretty basic as far as e-readers go. The back panel does come off if you want to snap on a new one or put on a case, but at, at this price point, I wouldn't even bother. Besides that, I think it's an excellent e-reader for anybody who wants to try this out without committing to it. You can always return it at Walmart, or you can grab something else and, and try that out like I did. And make sure you subscribe because there's a video for that coming out very soon. Uh, but all in all, great e-reader, good for people who want to try it out, good for kids, excellent battery life, excellent legibility and good lighting, not so much in low lighting, and yeah excellent price point. So that's it. Make sure you guys subscribe for the next videos coming up on this channel and I will see you guys there. Thanks.